What's good, YouTube? Hope all is well with you. This is Fragrance 1914 coming to you with a single fragrance review from the Spring 2017 list and that I did a couple months ago. And that is, of course, Thierry Mugler's Amen Ultra Zest. So I'm going to be uh, bring, uh, showing you the box, showing you the bottle, uh, and breaking down the notes and why I believe this is a good fragrance uh, to purchase. So we have the box right here. Show you all the sides of it. The back shows the bottle and in the background there looks like orange slices. This is definitely an orange blast here. So right off the bat uh, we get uh, the main accords are citrus, Warm, spicy, fresh, spicy, patchouli, and sweetness. Um, what I think is a, a combo that I don't see that often in, in uh, fragrance accords, uh, breakdowns, is the fact that uh, you have warm, spicy, and fresh, spicy together for a warm weather fragrance. And uh, most of the time, uh, I just see fresh, spicy. But the fact that they have fresh, spicy, and warm, spicy, I think it does something to this fragrance. Uh, not only for its potency, but just how it smells, which is definitely unique in terms of uh, the Aaron Mugler and the Amen and the DNA and all these flankers that they have. Uh, so it's definitely, um, like I said, potent. It's strong. Uh, that's why I chose it to wear it in the spring. I just think it'd be too much in the summer in the high heat or even in the medium or moderate heat. I think this will be a little too much, but right now, springtime, this is a great fragrance to wear. It gets compliments. Uh, just don't go overboard on the trigger, like I said. So let's open it up. Here's the bottle, if you haven't seen it before already. Just take it care of. <laughs> Alright, so we'll put the box back in the view later. So, of course, here's the bottle. I've used about, you can see where the, the line is, about right there. So, I've used the, the top half of the star almost. Uh, so, again, you don't need... Uh, that many sprays on this one usually two to three sprays will do me good and it lasts so long of course this is how all the theory um, Mugler bottles look for the Amen series so again here's the, the liquid line how much I have left so um, and this is oh, this is since last year uh, you know, this is since last year. I put it in my summer line last year. I moved it to spring for this year. And uh, like I said, you don't need many sprays for this. To me, and it, you know, if I can smell it on myself after five or six hours, and I'm like, yeah, that's definitely enough. I don't need to spray more. There are many fragrances where I do. This one, I don't. So, uh, henceforth, ergo, vis-a-vis, -vis, concordantly. I don't need to spray that much and that's why I have so much left. So this should still last me quite some time. And as we get into summer, I'll be using, I really won't be using this one. Um, only if it's, you know, specially requested, then I will use it. Uh, but other than that, this is it for the springtime for me as far as one of the beasts that I use. Uh, like I said, it is very strong and... Uh, that is one of the reasons why you go easy on the trigger, unless you have skin that just eats up fragrance, eats up cologne. But uh, even then, I would still be gentle because you, you got to remember it's not just about you know if you how strong or you definitely have to tolerate it. But it's not just about you smelling it; it's about other people smelling it, especially the ladies smelling it. And you know, as good as something can smell, you don't want it to be too strong to where it's just offensive and it clogs up their nose and it's just you know they can't be around you because of that so we'll get into the composition uh, we broke down the main accords and let's see let me get to my 
notes here. So it's very, it's a very juicy and tartness. Strong accords of red, orange, and tangerine. Uh, red, orange, tangerine, mint, and tart lemonish, lemonish ginger in the opening. So that alone, that packs quite a punch. That packs quite a punch for one fragrance and of course you know Barry Mingler's uh, uh, Amen series they're all going to be strong I haven't smelled one yet that's not strong that's not fleeting um so excuse the siren but uh rough in the streets but uh yeah so we got uh, let's go into the middle let's go into the middle we have uh an ar it says aroma of coffee Blended with sweet, spicy accords of cinnamon and black pepper. Definitely smell the cinnamon and black pepper. Um, whoever came up with citrus sweet or citrus spicy, man, that that it just does something. I mean, you get the freshness of citrus and then the spiciness, but yet it's not it's not to wear. I mean, you could probably wear this in the fall or the winter time if you wanted to. It's just got that kind of strength and that kind of projection. But I don't know if you want to smell fruity, citrus, spicy in the cold months. I would rather smell sweet, you know, you know, kind of like dessert or pastry or gourmand type spicy uh, in the colder months. In the uh, warmer months, springtime, summer, I would want to smell citrus, spicy. If I had to have spice in it, citrus, spicy, fresh, spicy, aquatic, spicy, if that's even possible. Um... Yeah, so I would definitely want to do that, but uh, just man, cinnamon and black pepper in the middle is just—it's just man. It's, I can see again why this is such um, a dynamic fragrance. Uh, it says a game of warm, bright, and cold notes stretches all the way to the base, which is created of warm and deep notes of vanilla, patchouli, and tonka. And you know that base—that—that's a—that's a powerhouse base. So you've got top quality uh, ingredients from top to bottom, strong ingredients, and putting them all together. Um, sometimes that can make for a disaster, but this one is not. This is completely the opposite. Not a disaster. Well done. Well blended with all of those strong, potent, and um, major player uh, ingredients. Uh, vanilla, patchouli, and tonka at the base, man. And then, you know, part of why I think that's part of why it lasts so long. And then um, the, the thing I get with this is, you know, a lot of people said orange creamsicle. I'm thinking the last time I had an orange creamsicle, uh, you know, it was cold. I remember that. But I could think about the taste and think about this smell. And I don't know if they really go together. What goes with this right here, this fragrance, to me, is an orange soda. Now, that might not sound too appealing for a fragrance, but you got to try this first. If you haven't tried this, try it first. To me, it smells like, especially on the dry down, I've got all those things mixed together as far as the base notes. I'm smelling an orange soda, but it gets compliments. So, you know, if orange soda gets compliments, why argue with it? Really, why argue with it? If it works for you, why argue with it, Whatever, regardless of what it smells like or what it reminds you of? I see a lot of people... I'm noticing on fragrance reviews, they, they, they smell things and, and they're like, you know, they might say it's good, but then they say it reminds them of something that they don't like. I think you got to really differentiate what smells good versus what reminds you of something negative. It might remind you of something negative, but if it smells good and it gives you compliments, don't let what it reminds you of deter you from wearing this because this could benefit you. Why are you going to let something... That could benefit you. Why are you going to reject something that could benefit you just because it reminds you of something negative? Okay, it reminds you of something negative, but that's in the past. It, you know, it can't hurt you. I mean, unless you let it. And I guess that's a big thing for some people. But, you know, I see that a lot on, like, fragrance review. You know, it reminds me of this. It reminds me of this. It smells great, but it reminds me of this. So I'm not going to buy it. I'm not going to wear it. That, I highly disagree with that. I, can't, I don't know where everybody's coming from. You know, everybody has a different train of thought thoughts, feelings, 
and that runs people that runs certain people you know and i'm not judging them but that's just how they that's how they operate um but i would say you know try not to let that you know deter you from making a good decision i think this is a good decision if you don't like it you don't like how it smells then that's one thing don't get it don't buy it but if you like it and it smells good and even though it might remind you of something negative you know i don't care if it reminds you of a toilet bowl cleaner if it smells good and you get compliments with it you might want to let you might want to hold on to it so again this is dairy minklers amen ultra zest let's get the box back in there um so again i don't see how this could be a negative thing for anyone um but you know to each their own but definitely at least sample this give it a shot if you can get a sample from wherever you can get a sample from this is an awesome fragrance like i said you don't need too many sprays on the trigger it should last you long if you're doing it by seasons it'll definitely last you for years uh, so until next time believe until you stop breathing and this is fragrance 1914 see you next time